हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज जिमी सिंह ब्रोकर ओनर ऑफ सुपरमैक्स रियल्टी वेलकम टू माय चैनल रियल स्टेट एज विद जिमी सिंह इन टुडेज वीडियो आई लाइक टू टॉक अबाउट द सेल्स स्टैट्स फॉर लंदन सेंट थॉमस मिडलसेक्स काउंटी हाउसिंग मार्केट एंड आल्सो आई लाइक टू आंसर सम ऑफ द क्वेश्चंस इन दिस वीडियो पुट फॉरवर्ड बाय सम ऑफ आवर व्यूअर्स and the big questions right now on everybody's mind is will the mortgage rates continue to rise and some of the people are asking me is it a good time to buy sell or invest in real estate so in this short video friends please watch till the end because i'm going to touch different topics that impact our housing market number one is interest rates second what is the property types that are affected since 2022 downturn in london st thomas areas third is what kind of current cycle we are in and what to expect in spring and summer markets of uh, you know 2023 in regards to sales and housing then i'm going to discuss the factors or fundamentals that drive the house prices in canada and lastly i will discuss the stats put forward by our board for the month of february so let's start with rates first so first thing i like to say is that's my personal opinion i still feel we might see more rate hikes this year uh, though the bank of canada has a meeting uh, you know tomorrow uh, in march uh, but they might give it a pause this time but since the inflation is still running high a job market is still you know very strong a simple you know google search will tell you that how many people government agencies are hiring you know uh, yes there is some uh, job losses in it sectors in some service sectors but those are not the numbers which bank of canada wants to see to make their you know uh, rate adjustments and yes i see the light at the end of tunnel why because i see the decline is housing prices in our area they are now slowing down i see certain property types you know they, there is now resistance of the sellers not to underprice the property you know uh, and they are just taking the property off if they can't sell those houses then again there is a little uptick in the sales stats month over a month uh, for the february we will delve deep into it so yes please don't read the headlines in the magazines don't read headlines on the news channels because they just want to grab you know at your attention they want to get extra eyeballs to sell their stuff uh recently there was somebody you know uh, saying that you know there was a news that bank of canada is going to pause interest rate for the whole of 2023 that is not true friends if you read the article there was just a poll conducted by different you know professionals and they of the general opinion personally you know the environment we are in right now globally it's very hard to predict how the next 6 months is going to be so please prepare accordingly and as i said my personal opinion is we might have more rate hikes maybe not in march again maybe in summer or they will visit uh, looking at the data for inflation and employment and make the decision and now talking about the different property types and how they are faring up in february of 2023 see friends the top tier or what we call a premium luxury market meaning expensive houses 1.2 1.5 1.8 2 million dollars i feel particularly in london st thomas area those you know have gone and led the downturn in 2022 versus lower or you know middle price houses what that means is basically the most expensive houses in our market always tend to lead the cycle whether it's up cycle or down cycle meaning if some house is worth at the peak maybe march 2022 maybe for 1.8 million right now it's down 3 4 5 100000 dollars versus a town house which were selling maybe 750 or 800 they are down at this point of town maybe 200000 so yes luxury market was impacted a lot because you know when the interest are rates are suppressed artificially low 
people just focus on their payments and they said you know what we can buy a big palatial house now with the rates hovering around 5.5 percent is getting very hard for people to qualify at today's stress test rate of seven plus percent so that market is going to be drag uh, for sure but the good part is i'm seeing now lower listing volume in the luxury or high-end market what that means is fewer properties for sale hence it is helping now the luxury market from the further downward pressure whereas i'm seeing listings grow in lower and the middle tier of london st thomas meaning lot of supply especially in london is hitting the market and uh, in the stats we will talk about that the stats uh, for uh, the active listings at the end of february were 1320 homes for sale I mean there's a lot of options for the buyers so we'll get into those details uh, and suddenly you know uh, the stat says we see sudden uptick of sales numbers so when you see the media release put forward by the board they will see they will say uh, you know month over month our prices you know have risen uh, that is true at certain extent uh, my explanation for that is there might be some people who wanted to buy last year in 2022 but were afraid and thought the prices are coming down and those are the people right now they jumped into the market maybe they have mortgage approvals from october november december and now their family situation is such they can't stall or delay or postpone their you know purchase so those are the people they know if we can't pull the plug we might have to qualify at a higher rate so those are the people waiting watching people they bought in february and uh, but that one month uptick is not a trend so i still uh, you know have to see the sales number uh, for the month of uh, you know in spring market and summer for us to see conclusive lead that you know the market is now going up or uh, you know is going in a positive positive direction so now talking about the current cycle so see friends uh, you know we are transitioning in you know from once in a generation boom which was there in 20 in pandemic 2020 2021 and earlier 2022 february or march market now we are transitioning into adjustment phase where people are setting their uh, you know adjusting their expectation for the house prices and now in the cycle we are into the next phase of real estate which is stabilization phase so now prices are going to stabilize in next few months then you know the next cycle will start so that is the preparation right and my uh, you know uh, thought was once the inflation or the interest rate peak you know then people will have a better confidence in the market and then they can go out and do big purchases recent poll conducted by ipos and bloomberg uh, you know last couple of weeks ago was saying that right now consumer confidence in canada is all time high for the last six months so a lot of consumers are bullish on a real estate market and they are thinking of doing the purchase but still don't get me wrong to qualify the mortgage is still a challenge and it might be drag on the affordability and yes you know interest rates are higher but my opinion is there other many factors that will dictate our rising houses prices i will discuss one at a time but before i do that i want to answer another question put forward by our audience he said you know is london st thomas market crashing so let's define what crash is so crash you know i checked the definition in uh, in economics they said a crash happens in the marketplace when there's large number of forced sellers and nobody on the other side of the transaction to purchase those properties and they have to just you know give it away at significant discount so friends you have to understand that home sellers are also home buyers so if i am go, you know looking to upgrade my house for example and there is a you know client in a situation who bought in the peak market uh, let's say they bought a 600000 house maybe in 2021 and that 600000 house is now worth uh, you know half a million meaning it's down 100000 dollars that person has to take a 100000 loss to buy a bigger property 
lot of people are not willing to do that unless you bought the house pre-pandemic maybe 7, 10, 15 years ago. You have substantial equity and you can suddenly you know jump and buy another property. So that is a drag meaning those people can't buy and then there is another subset of people uh, who had their mortgages locked at sub 2%, 2.5% or maybe 2.9%, 3% and those people are thinking you know what if I sell my house yes other price of the house is less uh, the bigger property which I'm looking to upgrade from my condominium townhouse or a small house but now I have to you know pay 5.5% mortgage uh, and then you know I have to qualify for a higher rate so again those buyers or those sellers they are sitting on sidelines and these people also control the supply and demand because if I don't see myself moving you know out of my house it means you know there'll be less houses coming on the market for sale and that is exactly what ha what is happening right now I feel the luxury market is at a point where supply is less because people already bought their dream houses last two years they locked and you know get their interest rate locked for next four or five years and they have no desire to move because you know if let's say they want to buy ultra luxury home or buy investment properties they see the decline in their equity so they are sitting tight and not you know speculating in real estate and that's actually a good thing as well for not many first time buyers another thing you know for the crash to happen we have to remember unemployment levels have to rise so people who are losing jobs left and right but right now the stats uh, you know data put forward by government is showing very very strong market in the first quarter which is january of 2023 government is hiring a lot of people and they have hard time finding young people to join the workforce and the second thing that can create crash friends is obviously the rise in interest rate but at the same token as i mentioned in some of my previous videos that you know bank of canada you know your all the big banks or your lenders they are not here to take your house away so they are willing to work with you if your mortgage payments have risen they are trying to you know increase your amortization to decrease your carrying cost they are willing to you know if you are on a variable mortgage and most of your payment is going towards your interest they are willing to work with you uh, so your interest is you know added to your principal outstanding you know uh, amount so there are there's help out there so you don't need to panic and if you're living in your dream home or if you bought a house to live for the next five ten years you don't have to panic it is just on on the paper or on your neighbor somebody selling for less doesn't mean you know you lost something it's just a paper loss and now talking about you know what is the fundamental drivers that dictate our real estate prices long term first thing is you know land constraint or shortage of land second is zoning you know another taxes then this population growth and at the end obviously is the trade people available to build those kind of houses and i know uh, you know everybody is aware that uh, government put data forward last year that we need to build 1.5 million homes in next 10 years to you know have affordable housing for all the incoming influx of new immigrants and to you know for house our population but looking at the stats for last 30 years there's no way we can build that kind of you know housing in next 10 years first we don't have that kind of trades second we don't have that kind of you know service land or lots available so this is another challenge folks the housing price doesn't come only for from high construction cost it also is embedded in each and every house cost meaning let's say you're looking to buy as a builder a land close to london pretty much there's not much land available to you know meaning service land where the utilities sewers water is already ready and sometimes there's a lot of red tapism in the municipality level so it will take many years for them to give you approval maybe three years four year five year hence you know the cost of builders uh, you know rises so they have to sell at a certain price point to make the 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 profit and project feasible if they can't make money they won't put uh, the project in place 
So right now, all the inventory for the new homes in London, St. Thomas, folks, I'm seeing builders have standing inventory. They're giving good deals, you know, to sell it. But then moving forward, if they're borrowing cost, you know, meaning higher interest cost mortgages, you know, is going to take a chunk of their profits. They're going to just sit tight and not build, meaning they're just kicking the football down the line. And I see the challenges in next two, three years because they're not building much housing. We have lots of people coming in the lovely London St. Thomas area and uh, everybody want to buy a piece of land to raise their families. And many don't want to live in condominium, meaning high rises. So the property types they're making in GTA right now, folks, it is high rise buildings, 500 square feet condo, 400 square feet condo, 600 square feet condo. And many new immigrants or young families don't want to live there. So it just, you know, drive till you qualified kind of thing. If you have option to work from anywhere, you will keep driving on 401 or other highways till you find a city which is, you know, suitable for you, you know, and London check lot of boxes world class you know university here you know excellent college fanshawe then they have hospitals access to 402 401 you know inexpensive uh, not inexpensive meaning comparative to gta we have industrial and commercial land which is you know at a much affordable uh, you know price for the builders to develop different projects so all in all folks these factors dictate your house values plus if you do you know search online you will find last year especially in toronto area the development charges were doubled for a builder to make anything so let's say somebody's buying a condo in uh, you know toronto i think 200 to 250 thousand dollars development charges and levies go straight to the city so a lot of people say hey you know they are greedy builders you know but you have to understand if you know from 250 thousand go straight to the city out of 600,000 worth of condo, then there's construction cost, carrying cost, and some of these buildings take five to six years to finish it. So this is exactly the reason of your high housing cost in Canada. Now again, the house they're making in GTA are the smaller properties, smaller townhouses or you know stacked townhouses or condominium. So a lot of families will keep coming to these kind of cities uh, like London, hence the down uh, line. If I see next few years, we will have tremendous, you know, demand again, and the cycle will again repeat itself. And lastly, I like to discuss, you know, the stats for the month of February. So we have in total 436 houses that were sold in February of 2023. Versus if I take last year, we have 814 sales, meaning sales are down 40 to 50 percent. Uh, inventory is growing. We have 1,320 homes available for sale at the end of February versus 395 homes which were available in 2022. So three months of supply in the market and it is rising because we are going to, you know, normal uh, spring market and summer markets where people tend to list their houses more. So unless we have a more, lot more buyers coming and absorbing these inventories, I see price drag uh, you know, in our city, which is putting pressure on the housing prices and uh, you know, it's going to take longer for a home seller to sell their house. Then uh, if I talk about home price index, uh, it is down 25% from last year uh, for London St. Thomas, meaning all different property types approximately are down you know quarter uh, per 25% from the peak of 2022 single family homes are still up 46% from february of 2020 so if we go back uh, you know two and a half years two years still you know single family home have uh, you know risen 46% townhouses are up 43% from february of 2020 Apartments, they are up 18.2% from, uh, you know, 2020 February. So all in all, uh, guys, this market, I feel, it has created a lot of opportunity for people who are qualified sitting with the money, whether you're a first-time buyer, you're investor. If you have a long-term horizon, guys, you're investing uh, for your family or for creating your wealth for next 10, 15, 20 years, you should be fine. Just get a one or two-year fixed rate ride the wave eventually things will be normal 
Yes, we are not coming to 2% rates, but yes, it will stabilize somewhere close to 4%, 3.5 down the line. Let's see. So inventory is high. There are a lot of options for new construction. Our team at Supermax is working with a lot of buyers and sellers, securing good uh, you know, new construction deals in around London area for our clients because some builders have adjusted their price. They're throwing away good uh, you know, upgrades in there and give some incentive uh, for the buyers. Second thing is, uh, you know, a lot of people we work with, they already understand that, you know, the low rate cycle, mortgage cycle in Canada is pretty much done. We will never see 2% and they're okay and adjusting to the current environment, which is, you know, high 400 to, you know, close to 5% interest rate. Uh, for insured mortgages, we can still arrange our clients 4.5, 4.4, something like that. Uh, for uninsured, we still have very, very good mortgage rates. Uh, just call us at 519-933-2559 to discuss your real estate and mortgages need or if you're looking to build your dream home. Again, this is Jimmy Singh. Thanks for watching my video. If you want to leave some comments or you feel certain way about the property, kindly share your thoughts at my channel, Real Estate Edge with Jimmy Singh. Thanks for watching.